Lindsay Kemp was born to dance. Dancing is the quickest route to happiness. His great passion was ignited early on, growing up in South Shields. I remember both the, uh, the pain of going to school, but the immense pleasure in, uh, in playing with my friends. We put on shows in, in our backyard, much inspired by the films we'd seen at the Impey, which was the <clears throat> Imperial Cinema, which was our local uh, flea pit. Then on this day, 68 years ago, he left the region for boarding school and didn't return. It must have been quite hard though, back in the 40s, being a young northern boy, just wanting to dance. Well, I was mocked, of course, at school. I was called sissy and all that, and pansy, and you should have been a galas, really. But you didn't care? Oh, I couldn't care of fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> your language, darling. I Lindsay. couldn't care of them. Well, of course it bothered me, but I mean, I, uh, I, I, uh, I survived. And he went on to make his name in avant-garde dance theatre and caught the eye of David Bowie, who asked him to be his teacher. The time that I met him, he was considering chucking in music altogether. He wasn't guessing anyway, you know, he was only 19, uh, but was really a, a bit uh, disillusioned and uh, he was planning to become um, uh, a Buddhist monk. He said that uh, I saved him from having his head shaved. Lindsay devised the Ziggy Stardust stage show, which catapulted Bowie into stardom. Another of his pupils was Kate Bush, who also cites him as a huge influence. She was so shy. She came to me to my workshops at the Dance Centre in Covent Garden in the footsteps of, uh, of David Bowie. But as soon as I started playing the music, she, she really, uh, she totally abandoned herself to it and allowed herself to be transported to another world. Which is what Lindsay's doing on this rare visit home. I had a great desire to come back, I must say, because she was, as well, I mean, it, it all started and the, the spirit of the place, the people, uh, still, uh, still prevails. It doesn't feel very real. I mean, it really feels very much like, uh, like a dream. Shurana Saga, BBC Look North, South Shields.